A drive to left field. He has done it again. Byron Buxton, wow. How lucky are we that this guy's on our team? Just an absolute monster. Chicago decides to pitch to him with first base open in the 10th inning. He hits a walk-off home run. That was a second home run. This is his first home run off Aaron Bummer. So you got Bummer and Hendricks, a couple of great relief pitchers in this game. As you can see in this first one, Bummer working away, 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 away. And Byron Buxton understood the assignment and just shot this thing while well, just shot. He absolutely blistered this ball out of target field. And here's a look at the two home run swings. He was going the other way in one. He pulls the other one. The Literally the longest walk-off home run in the StatCast era history. 469 feet. Wow. Byron Buxton again, six home runs in 10 games. Chris Archer got the start here. We got to talk about the pitching because that's really what kept them in this game and the bullpen in particular, because Archer once again, really lost it in this start. He did this his last start as well, really lost his command. He only went three innings and kind of an unsung hero in this game was Trevor Larnick. Uh, because as we see here, after Archer watched walks two guys on a combined nine pitches, uh, Chicago does get a run here, but Larnick guns out Abreu at the plate. A beautiful play, and obviously in such a tight game that went into extra innings. That was a massive, massive out uh, there. Instead of a run, there was uh, Godoy behind the plate. We'll talk about a little bit more about that in a moment, making a beautiful play there himself. And Josh Winder and the rest of the bullpen was amazing. Uh, Winder th- only gave up one run and four innings pitched. Yohan Duran threw two shutout innings. Joe Smith, man, the 10th. He did allow the bonus runner to score. but So those guys had pitched seven combined innings and only gave up one earned run, two runs total. Again, that was that kind of bonus extra runner in the uh, extra innings that scored off Smith. There's a good look at Duran Splinker. And this is a Twins bullpen that's kind of a work in progress. Duran got a couple of nice ground uh, double plays in this game because John Romero got, just went to the injured list. Jorge Alcala got transferred to the 60 day, a guy who I thought was going to be a massive part of this bullpen. And then Ryan Jeffers and Gary Sanchez are banged up. So Godoy had to get called up a uh, kind of crazy situation there. And again, Jose Miranda got a nice double here early in the game for St. Paul. This wasn't a great game for the saints. They lost eight to three. Uh, that was one of only five saints hits. And just want to show you this crazy play Royce Lewis was involved in. This is a pop-out to left field. He's playing a little deep. He kind of initially thought maybe he was going to have to be involved in the actual play, but then he realizes, oh boy, I got to get back into the infield here. And he gets all the way back to, they back basically picked this guy. Well, he's kind of trying to advance on the on the throw. And he realized there was nobody at third base, but Royce, you know, he's got great speed, obviously. He came running in behind the play and Miranda found him coming in, and he makes that play kind of a crazy uh, play there. Uh, but again, not a great day for the Saints. They lose in Wichita, Matt Cantorino. He was touching 97. You can see some of the velo readings down on the bottom right. There's an 80 mile per hour, 12 to 6 curveball. Um, so he threw three perfect innings with three strikeouts. He's still on a very strict innings limit. He only threw like 20 innings last year. Uh, so Matt Cantorino, we're not going to see him going deep into games, especially early. Uh, but great to see him throwing well, uh, performing and throwing hard. He was very efficient in this, as you would imagine, from three perfect innings. There's this patented Cantorino K sprint and hop over the line there. I talked yesterday about how I was excited to see Martin and uh, Edward Julian in this lineup going back-to-back. And in the first inning, a five-run first inning, Martin leads it off of the walk, and Edward Julian, again, he was just back from the IL a couple games ago. He pounds a triple into the gap here. Martin scores all the way from first base. And again, Julian gets to third on this. So, yeah, these guys are very fun to watch. Again, it was a five-run first inning in route to a 10-7 to win for Wichita name you might not recognize in the box scores is Kevin Merrill. He's a 26-year-old former number 33 overall pick of the Oakland A's in 2017, who's with Wichita. He's an infielder. Uh, expect him to be playing with St. Paul before too long. And Cedar Rapids, they won 6-4. to four. Kind of the usual suspects here, Anthony Prado in the first inning. This guy's been, I think I've talked about him every day, it feels like. He had leads off home run for the Colonels. And then Christian Encarnacion Strand. Man, when you've got a, a horseshoe on <laughs> and a lucky clover in your back pocket, four-leaf clover, this stuff like this happens. This was scored a double. Uh, you know, pop fly, they lose in the in the sun. And he's hustling. Give him credit for that. He hustled through. 
Uh, also on this one too, he hits this ball very hard the other way. Uh, the cameraman kind of loses it, but could have been caught. Would have been a very nice play, but he wasn't caught. And Carnacion Strand again hustling around the bases. He gets a triple on this one, um, and just a bizarre moment. That, you know, the first concern is you know is this guy okay out in left field? And then you know once you realize like okay, it looks like he's going to be all right. You know, his buddy's helping him up. His cleat is stuck. There's actually two fences here. There's kind of a, the the one on the bottom and then the padded one. And there's a bit of a gap in between. And this guy's cleat gets stuck. He takes the cleat off. The trainer is like, yeah, I didn't uh, didn't learn this in, in my schooling. <laughs> How to get a cleat out of a wall. Poor guy has four guys standing over him, looking over his shoulder as he's trying to get this freaking cleat out of the fence. They eventually get it, but uh, just a weird situation. And down in Florida, Fort Myers loses a tough one, three to two on a walk-off for Dunedin. Uh, but some guys were tracking, had some big games. Noah Miller with a hit and two walks. Emmanuel Rodriguez with a hit and a walk. Uh, they each were active on the bases as well, as Miller stole two bases and Rodriguez stole a base. Uh, on the mound, it was Travis Adams, the twin sixth-round pick from last year's draft. He gave up one earned run over five innings. So he's got a 1.20 ERA this year for the Mighty Muscles. Uh, he was sitting around 93, topped out at 95 miles per hour. And then Mike Paredes, who was also from last year's draft, their 18th rounder, uh, he delivered three shutout innings. He's now up to eight and a third shutout innings. Uh, Lots of off-speed stuff, but he was sitting around 92 with his fastball. 